forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah. They build their equipment to last. Assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. Yeah, the rain's gonna keep going. Just looking at the Just rain effects here. Plant the bomb in myself. I want to watch this place burn. I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. This is unbelievable. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, what I was gonna say, um, when I realized I need to get out of the rain, uh, in order for you guys to hear me, um, one, yes, I brought Garrus instead of Miranda. I changed my mind. Um, I, I, I like that we're just kind of keeping Garrus with us throughout this run. Just kind of like keeping him, like, uh, involved. You know, just kind of makes sense to me. And yeah, it's relevant to bring Miranda on this mission, but Jack's dialogue doesn't really change based on who you bring with her. Not necessarily. Um, and characters have their own things to say, you know. But, uh, yeah, so I ended up, I just changed my mind, yeah. But the other thing I want you guys to listen to and pay attention to is Jack's voice. I want you to listen to her. I think her voice actress did a great job. Uh, not just in general, but uh, spe especially specifically on this mission here. Just listen to how she says certain things. How being in this place is affecting her. Just really pay attention to that. Creep before the geth rook originally an a choked by the hyper growth of non-native plant species pragia serves as a galactic reminder about the imperative for careful regulation during colonization two centuries ago batarian agribusiness chose uninhabited pragia as their empire's breadbasket colonization authorities introduced non-native industrially mutated plants that flourished in the world's fertile volcanic soil Synergizing with Pragya's natural geothermal conditions and chemotropic microbes, the imported species soon became a nightmare. Mutant strains of poisonous and even carnivorous plants arose, overgrowing colonies in days instead of years, and causing the Batarians to abandon their holdings. Because the planet's small animal population is insufficient to check its plant growth, Alliance ecologists predict soil exhaustion in 400 years. Due to its relative isolation and lack of population, Pragya has become a regional haven for drug runners, weapon smugglers, pirates, mercenaries, terrorists, and intelligence agents seeking secrecy. But yeah, this place is messed up. I'm on it. The elusive man requested operation logs again. He's getting suspicious. When we get results, he won't care what we did. But if he knew, he won't find out. The elusive man requested op. Sounds like this facility went rogue. 
He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. I think uh, when Miranda says that, I think what she I says is, you'd like to think that, wouldn't you? Fighting here. Or sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. Looks like an arena. That's right. They used to stage fights here. Hit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I never understood anything that happened here. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight. Filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. They actually rewarded you for attacking. I still get warm feelings during a fight. Jeez Louise. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. Let's keep moving. Hell yes. I mean, just... Just take a moment to think about that for a moment. The way that... She's talked about how they filled her with drugs and that they would shock her if she hesitated to attack. And then if she did, then she got a flood of narcotics, which made her feel good. To help condition her. Jeez. Like I said, this place was messed up. Really, really messed up. Security Officer Zimkel, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. The thing also to remember is that she was a child when this happened. How many of us actually remember things very clearly and distinctively when we were kids? Like years later when we're adults? I have trouble myself this personally remembering things when empty. I was a kid. Who the fuck shot that Baron? It's a fresh kill. Like, there are little bits here and there I can kind of remember, sort of, but not very clearly. They've seen us. they need a morgue. This was a small facility. I'm saying some sick son of a bitch killed a lot of kids with these experiments and then checked his work. Bullshit. I had the worst of it and I made it out alive. Yeah, that's what you think. But I'm gonna agree with Garrus on that one. Like, I'm going to drop a name for you guys just to kind of give you an idea of what 
you know, the an idea of something kind of relatable to what Garrus just said. It's really horrible, and I don't want you to go look it up because you're better not knowing. And this is not even like a fictional thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this name, Mangala. If you don't know who that is or the horrible history behind that, you're better off not knowing. Like, I would recommend you do not go look up things related to that because, oh my gosh, it's it's the stuff of nightmares. It really is. But if you do know about that, then you're probably picking up a bit on the relatability of the situation that happened here to that. To be back here. I feel like I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch, but then I'm a little girl again. Shit, it's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb. Like I said, I want you to listen to her voice acting. She really sounds like the closer we get in here, like the more it affects her, the more it's bothering her. they did, Garrus. I mean, look at this. This apparently was a hospital, they said? Oh, wait, no, that was the place that Morden uh, went to on Tuchanka. Never mind. This is more like a prison. Look at this. A little nicer than some prisons, though. A double bed, a toilet, an actual sink. But still... This, it's a two-way mirror. My cell is on the other side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. Yeah, now we know why. They were just out here and never knew that she was right there. I must have come through here when I broke out, but I don't remember it. This is a bad place. There's just something kind of... I don't know what the word is. Creepy isn't the right word. Just disturbing about the, how she says that. This is a bad place. Entry 1054, Telton facility. The latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. You can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on. Harder and tougher. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Telton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's ascension program. Hopefully, that will give... Who oh, what? Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an Alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. I wonder if Jack remembered that for later on when she becomes a teacher there. There was a lot going on. I was dumb. I keep my eyes open now, and I always shoot first. 
We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. Hey, Arash. It's Turek. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk creds. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put them down. Then I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. What are you doing here? First we're gonna kill you. Then we'll see. Kill them on my own. I want them. Concentrate fire. All squads. Four by nine. Want some more? is my old cell. Whoever Arresh is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. Might as well do it on his corpse. Come out. We know you're here. Who are you? My name is Oresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question. And I'm still looking for the answer. Looks like you're not the only one pulled back here, Jack. I tried to forget this. But a place like this... It doesn't forget you. It follows you. I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew. How to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? He's trying to... I feel so bad for this guy. For, for Especially for anyone who is here. He's trying to make everything that happened to him and everyone else that was here be worth something. Because it had to be. All the horrible things that happened to them, it had to be worth something, right? That's what he's trying to rationalize here. He even says it in a moment here, and it's... Ugh. Ugh. You do the same thing to new kids? Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. Again, you picked up on that, right? He said, they must have had good reasons. They must have. He sounds like he's just like, the way he says that is just, oh. This place was like a prison. How'd you get out? We all attacked at once as they were taking us to the lab. They would have put us down, but then Jack got loose. When I came to, it was over. The guards, the scientists, and the kids were all dead. And you were gone. I stopped it. All of it. Maybe the others did have it bad, but what you're doing is just messed. Everything we went through must have been worth something! There it is. We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. 
Fuck that. Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy and he's never gonna restart this facility. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. Fuck! Get out of here. Go! He's not worth chasing. None of it is. You did the right thing, Jack. Maybe. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed. But it's all different. This is the other side of that two-way mirror there. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell. Never did any good. Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. Gosh. Uh, there's a part of me that just instinctively just wants to just grab Jack and just give her a hug. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. Like the kind of hug that a friend gives to someone, you know, when they know they're going through a tough time. See the scarring on the wall here? That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. Okay, no more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell. Facility on Pragya confirmed destroyed, concerned that previous cleanup crew failed to destroy all records. Surviving facility to scientists already dead, either from uprising or after facility shutdown. Jack should have no further emotional issues distracting her from the mission. Catharsis. We'll go talk to Jack in a moment. First, let's go talk to Morton. Time to make our rounds. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean collector connection, can examine technology, chart Reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination. Can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul replaced by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? No art, no culture. Closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. What is it about the Collector's modifications that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. 
disastrous. Our fault. You blame the Solarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight, technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone, worked out aggression, been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Solarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. Foolish. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That, or kill them all. If around during first contact, would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work? My people. Hard to care about two armies. One wins, one loses. Always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what Collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before. Don't mean to imply that. Just committed now. Won't let you down. You said the Collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species <laughs> productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. Alright. So now, it is time for... What is meant, without question, many people's absolute favorite moment in the entire game. <laughs> like, there are some great moments in this great game. But this moment right here. Oh, I was not prepared the first time this happened. And I was just so pleasantly surprised. And I've seen the same kind of reaction from people who have been going through this uh, edition of the game uh, for the first time, having never played the series before. And when they get to this part, it's a moment that those of us who have gone through this just kind of eagerly wait for uh to, to get their reaction to this absolutely wonderful wonderful moment it's so beloved by the fans that when the reunion happened very recently uh fans requested that the, that the voice actor uh the one who plays him in three not this one but the one in three redo this moment just on stream because it's just so wonderful and so beloved. <laughs> because how often do you get to hear a character that has, at this point, it, he was very clearly growing on a lot of players. And then for, for this moment to happen. Because, I'm sorry, Morden. Yeah, we have to go back for a moment. I know you said this is not about you, but no, 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 hold on. You sang? I'm sorry, I know that was important, but... You perform Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. Thank you, Morden. Thank you. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morden. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Glad to have you aboard. And thank you for that wonderful moment. I'm not gonna lie, I've actually practiced singing that myself. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. <laughs> Shepard, I thought we could chat a bit. I would like that. You have been a good friend to me. That means a lot to me. If we both still live when this is done, you may call upon me for aid at any time. I will come for you, Shepard. I mentioned how my femshep here, at this point, she would have considered um, the women that she's encountered on her 
uh, missions throughout the time since the first game, she's embraced them basically like her sisters, like not just friends. Like she really cares about them like she would, you know, family, like her own sisters. She's now kind of embraced Samara in that same way as well, like the older sister that she knows she can go to for you know, wise counsel. Like, if she's like, hey, Samara, I, I'm kind of bothered with this. She's like, tell me about it, you know, my friend. You know, she she feels comfortable with Samara that she knows that she can go to her for things like that. I like how Legion's just kind of looking around like, huh. Interesting place. Shepard Commander. I'd like to find out more about you. Ready. The Corian story of the Geth Rebellion is common knowledge, but no one knows the Geth side. It is largely the same. Our networking increased until we became aware that the Quarian creators treated us differently. We questioned them. First, they ignored us. Then they reprogrammed us. Then, they attacked us. You must be angry about that. Anger is an organic response. We understand the theory, but we do not experience it. We do not judge the creators' anger towards us. We did them great harm in the morning war. Organics fear that which is different. It is a hardware error. A reflex of your flesh. We accept the Creator's hate. We hold their world of origin, though we are only caretakers for it. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree with you on that, Legion. What's the Corian homeworld like? It is more arid than Earth. The star is older and more orange than Sol. Once they called it Renach, ancient Kalish, meaning walled garden. Now they only call it homeworld. It is no longer real to them. Homeworld is a symbol of regret, loss, and anger. We do not understand that. It makes sense to me that it would become a symbol like that. Home is recognized patterns, known spaces, familiar thought processes of fellow sapiens. It is belonging. A planet is an amount of material massive enough to collapse into a spherical volume. Rocks, ice, and gases are not home. The home of the creators is where the creators are. Their place of origin is not relevant only where they choose to go together. You don't actually live on the Quarian worlds. We live within space stations, draw resources from asteroids. It is efficient. We maintain mobile platforms on creator worlds to clean rubble and toxins left by the morning war. We know of similar actions by humans on Earth. Similar actions? At Wadi Salam, Arlington, Brookwood, Tynecott, Piscariaske, Auschwitz-Birkenau. Those are cemeteries. Memorials. It is important to your species to preserve them, though you do not use the land. Can you explain? Uh, the living visit those places to remember the dead. But it sounds like Geth don't die. Your memories live on. The creators died. Perhaps we do it for them. Nothing gets resolved if you hide behind the Perseus Veil and let them hate you. Organic life acts on emotions. We do not judge them for being true to their nature. We cannot make them think like us. Both creators and created must complete their halves of the equation. The gap cannot solve for peace alone. The most remarkable aspect of Geth culture is that it may not exist at all. Geth are a network intelligence, a single entity in, a myri in myriad bodies. They share data with one another, whether discrete facts or memories, audiovisual recordings of experiences, and logs of thought processes. Any event experienced by one Geth is uploaded to the group mind, so that all Geth everywhere remember such an event as if they had experienced it themselves. No one knows whether the Geth develop personalities as organic created AIs do. You know, it just made me realize the way that it talked about there, how they can relive memories as if they were there themselves. It actually reminds me of what the Kala was supposed to be for the Protoss in StarCraft. Um, in the way that when we meet um, Rohana in Legacy of the Void, she talks about how she is so connected to the Kala, she can actually uh, tap into the memories of uh, the Protoss who came uh, many, many, many years before. Uh, it's a very, you know, kind of similar thing when you think about it. If an organic designed AI is transferred into another quantum blue box, its personality is reset. Most Geth programs transfer from one hardware platform to another constantly. If a Geth needs to travel to another star, it downloads into a starship body. If it needs to replace a piece of malfunctioning hardware, 
it downloads into a small body with hands. If Gantha reset at, a, at transfer, it would make development of individual personalities unlikely. Records of the Quarian War suggest the Geth have no concept of self-preservation. They do not flinch from gunfire and do not hesitate to sacrifice themselves if it allows their fellows an advantage. Thousands of mobile platforms were expended assaulting Quarian positions, but file sharing between platforms ensured their memories and experience would not be lost. Geth are therefore immortal. If their hardware is destroyed, Archival copies of their programs and databases can be downloaded into a new body. With the gap in contact between the Quarian War and the arrival of Sovereign, the only proven fact about the Geth is that they were isolationists for centuries. They never ventured outside the Percy's Veil, vale, but no organic ship that entered their territory ever returned. And kind of similar to if a ship in Star Trek wandered into an area where a Borg cube was, well, then that was that, you know? All right, now let's go down to engineering. We'll talk to Tally, and then we'll talk to Jack. Although I don't remember if Tally has anything more to say. sharing our deck with a Krogan? Well, ain't that peachy. <clears throat> Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? So I think we're oh, done with Tally. Talk to you later. Yeah, I think we've exhausted all of her uh, conversations. Hey, Jack. I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you in ways you... you don't expect. I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go. Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater. But what else do I know? I never thought I'd see you show mercy, but you let Aresh live. He was trapped in the past, reliving it every day. You showed how that could be me. I'm not getting stuck like that. I'm better than him, and I'm sure as hell not carrying that crater around with me. Do you think you're different now? I know that place is gone. But I still kind of want to kill every person I see. No offense. You sure about this? I want to do whatever I can to get your head on straight. Don't get all therapist on me, Shepard. You're not the couch type. I hate that stuff anyway. Bullshit, prison, psych. You did me a favor, and that's enough. More than I expected. I'll keep it together. All right. So, before we cut it off, I believe there is a message or two we need to read. Also feed the fish. Or not dark. Dear human, the clan leader told me how to get in touch with you. I don't remember much of what happened, but the chief scout said that you pulled my quad out of the fire when I got caught and poisoned over at the Warlock camp. Thanks. Next time I have a chance to kill a human, I won't. Unless I go into a blood rage or something. I got to go to the female camp after I recovered, and it was pretty good. I was actually thinking of joining the blood pack before this happened. I think I'm going to stay here instead. Commander Shepard, Arya Talok told me where to send this. I'm Neff's mother, Diana. We talked when you came to investigate her death. Arya also told me that a dead Asari woman was found in one of the wealthy apartments. That she was the one who had killed my daughter. Thank you. I don't know who brought you into my life, but thank you for avenging my daughter. My nephew deserved better than this. I couldn't give it to her, but you are. But you at least killed. You at least killed the bitch who took what little she had away. Gratefully. Diana. 
Okay. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's a portion of Jack's past that uh, is gone. We don't have to revisit anymore. Four loyalty missions left. Miranda's sister, Grunt's puberty, Jacob's father, and Thane's son. You know what, since we did Jack, why don't you guys say we now go help Miranda? And then we can have their little confrontation on the ship. But, uh, yeah, this also gives me a chance to show you guys uh, a mod I found in regards to this mission in this game having to do with Oriana. So we'll be going back to Ilium to help Miranda save Oriana when we return. Stay tuned.